38 degrees today, February the 1st, um, Hudson, Wisconsin, and this is just about um, what I've been doing, tracking uh, temperatures and such with uh, the Broodminder um, devices. I've got the Broodminder temperature humidity devices, humidity devices in uh, 11 colonies, and I've, this is a group of four. You can see the little Broodminder tab. Hopefully I can point it out right there by my finger. And today, with it being 38 degrees and the first elimination flight day that I can remember for weeks, the bees have taken advantage to come outside. Interestingly, the, the um, temps in the hive have been, in these little colonies, have been fairly, fairly stable. Each vertical is a separate colony. A five over five there and they're varying from the mid 60s to about 80 degrees and the sensors are right on the top of the frames at the at the very top so there's a, a four pack there and then I have another four pack over here and that first group of four pack first four pack was uh, Queens tw 2019 Queens and this uh, four pack is 2018 queens that have gone through a cycle of a season uh, in uh, the, th the three that are not solid pink were in my production colonies and broken down for winter and this particular one here this solid pink one that's actually a 2018 VSH breeder queen I saw her in um, in, I think it was September last, so providing she hasn't been superseded, she, they're still going along pretty well. That particular broodminder was the first one I got because I'm not very technical. I didn't know I could do it, so I just got one. I just got this plain temperature monitor one, and that's been hovering around 74 degrees for a week or so. And then, so there's two groups of four in uh, this configuration, and then I've been experimenting a little bit more with um, six frame colonies and so I have three six frame colonies here and the um, so that's uh, was a, in the fall that was a total of 18, um, 18 frames set aside for three colonies with a little eek on the bottom um, and then uh, that one on the right I baffled and these other two I didn't and now of these three, one of these is um, pretty sure it's dead, this one on the, on the left, because its temperature dropped way off and was down into the 20s and the 30s. I mean, it's possible that it's squeaking along alive, but it seems highly unlikely because the sensor is, the frame, the sensor is right on the top of the, on the frames there. But the other two are alive, and if you look at the odds of that, it's me preaching the same old tune. This is 18 frames of resources and there were three colonists and now there are two so if we could keep our colonies in, in um, smaller configurations over winter and go into winter with twice as many as we think we're going to need but two out of three survive we're still doing pretty good so it's a beautiful day and uh, that's about all I have to say at the moment Happy wintering.